to throw it. I got to throw it. I got to throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Hi, Mama Tika. Say hello. Say hello. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is Zoe. Zoe. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is Zara's four month update. Yay! Is it four months? At four months? At four months? So today I'm going to give you guys all the little deets on what baby Zara is doing now and how much she has grown um, in the past like two months since you guys seen her last update. So if you want to hear more updates on baby Zara, just keep watching. So before we jump into this video, please don't forget to click and subscribe down below. Please help support me here on my channel and baby Zara, yes. Um, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And if you want to be notified when I post a new video, please click that bell to be notified. And don't worry, I'm not going to see you no emails or anything. You're just going to get a little notification when I post a new video. So please don't forget to click and subscribe and like this video down below. Okay, so first off, let's shout out Zara's cute little outfit here. Like, isn't this so cute? I love it. I love it. Her Annie always finds like the cute stuff and it comes with like these cute little pink pants and of course this cute little adorable bib. It's so cute. I don't even know. What, what, what kind of animal is this? What is that? Um, what is that animal called? I have no idea. But a porky? No. Is that supposed to be a porcupine? I think so. I don't know. If you know what it is, leave a comment down below because I forgot what it is. But her aunt bought this and it's so cute. And if you guys follow Zoe and Zara on their Instagram, you'll see pictures of them um, on their Instagram where Zara posts pose for the cutest little pictures and the cutest little outfits. And she also has an outfit similar to this one that has a cute little apple on there. And it's from the same line. I think it's called Starting Out. I have no idea where they are from, but they're super duper cute. So if you guys want to follow them, I will leave a link down below so you guys can follow their Instagram also if you want to just see cute little pictures of Zoe and Zara. So today is Zara's four month update. I wanted to share with you guys all the little cute things that Zara is doing now. She is such a busy body as you can see in here. Um, she loves to eat on her hands. That is a very new thing that she is doing. She is eating on her hands. Yes and grunting. What's going on? Why are you making that noise? Hmm? She loves to put things in her mouth now. She is definitely reaching. Um, she loves to grab things, hold things, and definitely get them into her mouth. Um, especially our hands, anything like hands, um, elbows, arms, anything skin-like. She wants to eat it because it reminds her of the boobie. And I'm not sure why she likes to eat on hands, especially her daddy. She loves to suck on her daddy's lip, which is weird to me, but... That's their own little bonding time, I guess. But Zara loves to do that. Um, so she's definitely using her hands a lot more to grab things, to reach for things. Like she's reaching right now for something. What do you want? You want your towel? Um, she's, she's really learning how to go ahead and use those hands to get whatever she wants and whatever she needs. Especially when she's nursing, she loves to grab and pull on the boob it may seem really fun for her but it's not for me because it hurts but i'm happy that she's learning how to pick up things and play with her toys um she has her favorite little elmo toy that she loves to play with and she just grabs it and eat on it all the time and it, she likes it because it makes noise and that's another thing her attention is spot on she can really she can pay attention to things a lot more and she loves to just watch everybody do their daily thing. Like she likes she likes to watch me do my makeup. She likes to watch her daddy play the game and Zoe dance and do Zoe things. The way she is about her sister, it has not changed. It is like 10 times worse. They love each other so much to the point where she is now used to Zoe's being at home. And when Zoe's not at home, she's kind of looking around for her, especially when we go in Zoe's room because that's where Zara's changing table is. She kind of looks around the room and you can kind of see that she's looking for Zoe. And then especially when Zoe comes home, she is smiling, laughing, happy. Like she's so happy to see her big sister. What do you, you can't eat my hand. Oh, yes, 
so crazy. And it's the same thing for her dad. Um, not so m much for me because she sees me 24-7. So I'm with her all day, every day, except for when I leave the house for a couple of hours to go somewhere. And then when I come back, she wants me because she's hungry. And another thing which has not changed, Zara is still refusing the... Okay. <laughs> she just threw up all over me. So Zara is still refusing to take the bottle, so we're still having a difficult time trying to get her to eat from the bottle. She will refuse to eat from the bottle. Um, yeah, I know. You still don't want it. She will refuse to eat from the bottle. She just does not want it. We even lowered our standards to even trying a syringe and giving her milk out of a syringe while I'm gone. She just refused to drink anything out of anything unless it's the breast so that's another thing that we're still having a hard time with um we're not going to introduce i know some parents do introduce their children um do introduce their kids to food or cereal baby cereal around four months close you know mid four months we're not going to do that until she's about six months um we don't want to you know introduce her too early to where it can cause different allergies or just kind of messes up her little system so we're still going to wait on the food thing but another new thing besides talking she is talking a lot now whether it's just grunts or full on trying to have a conversation she is really trying to have a conversation with people she is very interested in food when we are eating she will stare at her plate like tomorrow's business like you need to feed me now and she will reach for your food or your spoon and she'll watch you like she'll watch your plate and as you're getting food, she'll watch you put the food in your mouth and she'll watch you eat it. Like, what are you doing? And then she'll start. So she's very interested in food. So which we know that she's almost time for her to start eating her own food. And I'm so excited because this will be my first time making baby food. I didn't get the opportunity to do that with Zoe. So with Zara, I am going to be making a lot of her baby food for her to eat. Um, because with Zoe, I was in school, so I just didn't have the time or the luxury to make all of everything for Zoe. So for Zara, since I'm at home more, I get to make all your little baby food. Yay, yay. All your little baby food. And plus, it'll save us a lot of money in the process. So she is very talkative. Um, she, when she wants to be in, she will sing along with you. She'll... She will definitely try to sing a song with you, even though she has no idea what she's doing. Um, she's obviously trying to stand up on her own. That's why I'm having a hard time holding her. She's trying to stand up on her own already. And she's getting ready to start crawling. Um, she enjoys tummy time for the most part, like most babies. But she really enjoys it because she's really trying to move around. Zara loves trying to kick her legs and just really try to crawl around. I think the main thing is just her really holding herself up with her knees. She's very good at... Are you going to let me talk? Huh? <laughs> Ew, your whole hand is so slobbery. Yeah. So she def I think the main thing is just trying to hold herself up with her knees. She's having a hard time really holding herself up with her knees, but she can really hold her upper body up with her arms and she can hold her head perfectly well. As you guys can see, I don't need to hold her back when I hold her because she can hold herself up. She's been doing that since she was like maybe a couple of weeks. So that's nothing really new, but she's what do you see you see this whole shiny she sees this palette on my table and she really wants it um anything shiny give it she has to have it so she's really working on kicking those legs and trying to sit herself up so she can get ready to start crawling so i think in the next month we will probably have someone almost crawling if not crawling because she's moving pretty fast because she sees her sister doing all this stuff it's almost there guys almost there to sitting herself up by herself um she loves to try to sit up if you lay her down she will freak out and you can see her uh, uh, trying to do a crunch 
to try to sit herself up and even when I do sit her up she probably sits up for like maybe a second and then falls over but she's very determined to sit up on her own because she sees that we're sitting up and we're sitting down and she really tries to sit up by herself so I think in the next like two weeks I think Zara is going to have it down packed to where she's sitting up on her own and she won't need our help to kind of keep her up. One thing that we do use to help her sit up on her own is her is the little bobby pillow that I used to breastfeed her with. Um, I love to use that bobby pillow because it gives them a lot of support. And we kind of sit her up. But we have to be careful with Zara when we sit her on that pillow. Because she would definitely like sit up and then fall forward and then roll. Um, that's her new thing. I don't know what's going on with that. So we try to make sure we watch her because if she sits up on her own and she does sit up and she roll, if she's on the couch and she does that, she's going to hit the floor. If she's close to the edge of the bed, she'll hit the floor. So we make sure when we have her sitting up on that pillow that we are watching her and we know that she can't really sit up all the way to the point where she can roll she can sit up just enough she has a little cute mickey mouse rocking chair and she likes it sometimes when zoe's home and she can watch zoe play and she, zoe pushes her around in it but she doesn't like it just to be sitting in there while i'm doing chores so the carrier that i have that i had her in in a, one of my first couple of videos after she was born that thing is still like the best thing i can use when i need to get stuff done or her new favorite thing is the stroller um our stroller is like a stroller that our car seat can hook up into so i leave i sit her in the car seat and i can just push her around the house in the stroller while i get chores done and she's just fine so if i don't have the stroller in the house I just use um, the car. I mean, I just use the carrier. Um, so I really like the stroller car seat combo, and she enjoys it too. And it's kind of like being in a car, so she's kind of rocking a little bit. She's very much really slobbery now. She's hit that stage to where it's just slob all day. I change her outfit at least three times a day now because either it's covered in drool or she threw up or somehow something got on it that wasn't supposed to be or she pooped on it but i definitely change her outfit at least three times a day i try not to change it so much because then i have to wash clothes so much but what can you do you know they just love to tear things up and she wants this bib so i'm going to give it to you you want to? what the other new thing that zara is loving is music she's really into music and zoe was like that when she was a baby um zara can really just fall asleep to music a lot and that's what greg uses when he hold her to get her to go to sleep if she's really really cranky um he'll just play some music and he'll hold her and rock her and she'll eventually go to sleep so she loves to listen to music she loves to listen to people talk that's like one of her main things like you can't just have her sitting somewhere and you're sitting with her and not interacting with her she's very interactive um she wants you to talk to her play with her you know some babies are okay to just sit down and just watch everything but uh -oh, look what you did you knocked it on the floor bizarre likes for you to sit there and talk to her i'm on my phone and i'm trying to get something done while i'm sitting with her she would cry and cry and talk my phone down and give her attention she loves attention she really loves attention so even when i did this makeup look i had to hold her the whole time and it was very challenging because she was sitting on my bed but she really wants attention why do you keep knocking things on the floor girl come on you ain't gonna have nothing to play with what are you doing so she really loves attention um from everybody in the house especially her sister there's times where zoe just does, doesn't want to play and zara's kind of uh, like i want to play with you but zoe's kind of like look i'm done and zara's kind of cranky and she's like okay well what am i supposed to do now but she really loves attention and she loves to be played with. She loves to have someone to play with her. And I think she's just ready to be a big girl. She really thinks that she's just a big girl like her sister. But she isn't. Um, she definitely hates bows. Um, Zoe was like that for a little while but then she got used to them. Zara hates when I put bows in her hair. After a while she forget that it's in her hair. But when I put it in there she definitely does not like it. Um, she hates anything on her feet, even the socks. She'll try to take them off. And she's definitely trying to eat her feet. I don't know why. Where are you going? She definitely is trying to eat those little old feet of hers. Look, she's looking in the mirror. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing. People say not to let babies look in the mirror. But, I mean, if I'm holding her up here, I can't 
I can't help it because she'll see herself in the mirror. So she's definitely doing a lot of active things um, for her age. And we're really excited because we can't wait for her to like move around. But at the same time, I'm sad because she's definitely growing up and turning into a big little girl. And I don't want her to grow up. I didn't want Zoe to grow up. But they're super fun. And I'm so happy that Zoe loves Zara and Zara loves Zoe. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. What do you want? This is something. No, 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 no. So I think lastly, it's just Zara is really moving faster than what what her sister did. Even though Zoe moved pretty fast, Zara's moving a lot faster because she has Zoe here to show her everything and how to do everything. So she's moving pretty fast and she's growing pretty fast. She. The last time I took her to the doctor, she was about, I think, 15 pounds. I believe that's how much she weighed when we took her because she had a cold. And I wanted to make sure that she didn't have anything else but just a cold. And she did pretty well when she was sick. You guys on my um, on my Instagram story saw her. Um, she was really sick. And she got over it pretty fast. But it was a new thing for her. And she was just not happy about it. But I did take her to the doctor and she was, I think she was about 15 pounds. Um, and she's getting so long to where none of her newborn stuff fit anymore. So we definitely have moved on to three to six month stuff. Um, we're definitely in that territory because she's so long. Except for this outfit is newborn and she can fit it. And I think because it's a bit longer and bigger than what a newborn outfit should be. Which I'm happy about because it's starting to get cool outside. Here you go. So yeah, so that is Zara's four month update. She's such a big girl. She is so cute and so fun. Her personality is already starting to shine. She's a little diva and she loves to eat things, which all babies do. Oh, and there it goes. You dropped it, mama. You guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to click and subscribe down below. And I will also link Zara's two month update and any other update video for Zara down below so you guys can check them out and in my description box I have different I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to check my description box for any previous videos and any other videos with Zoe and Sara and any coupon codes or links are down below and I can't wait to chat with you guys in my next video bye guys